Right, so now I'm going to be looking at software. We have three main types. The first one is system software. That's operating systems. The next is utility software. And the final one is application software. Now, the book has them kind of mixed up, but I'm going to go utility software first, then application software. And I do believe we have to go over operating system ever so slightly. So here I am again on the BBC Bite Size website, very, very good website. Even if you're doing level three stuff for IT, what you can do, what I highly suggest is going on the computer science GCSE section and the computer science A-level section, because there's a lot of crossover for the content. So you might as well use it. All right. So here we have utility software helps maintain the system. Utility software includes encryption software. What is encryption software? It just helps you to hide the content of your files. We have defragmentation software. So remember I told you guys who play games, for example, when you have a fragmentation grenade or what's known as a frag grenade, it simply means that when you throw it, it explodes, it goes into many different locations. And the reason I use that one is that when you have a hard disk, let's see if I can bring up paint and demonstrate that. When you have a hard disk, it's generally round the disk is constantly spinning, right? Let me draw arrows. Disk is constantly spinning. But because the disk is spinning, you have what's known as a seek head, something like this. The disk is spinning, so the seek head is never in the same location twice. So let's say I'm saving a JPEG file, right? A part of my file might be up here. A part might be here. Because remember, the disk is spinning again. A part might be here. A part might be here. A part might be here. So this is known as fragmentation. Everything is spread out. Now to get things back together, let's say I only wanted all of the all of those sections of that image file to be in roughly this sector of the pie, which is this sector of the um, of the hard disk, right? To do that, I would have to use a, the utility program, which is called defragmentation software, defragmentation app or something. I would bring those back together. Now we have data compression. This is normally built into Windows. I'm going to go to, let's go to my downloads folder. Oh, it's empty. Let me create, um, I don't know, an access file. Let me go ahead and create uh, a Word document. Let's just do, leave it at that. But let's imagine, let's copy this a few dozen times and let's see what happens. Here we go. Let's say I have all of this. And to compress this data is to make it smaller than the original. Imagine. If this was 10 gigabytes, it's only 4.25 megabytes here now, as we can see here. But I'm going to compress it to show you the purpose of compression is to obviously make it smaller. It might not work the way it should work most uh, sometimes, but in most occasions it will. So when I right click on this and I go to compress to zip file, it should take a few seconds, it shouldn't take too long at all, right? Remember my original. When I highlight all of these except for that one, my, or my original file size for 18 items was 4.25 megabytes. If we look at the compressed version of that is only 154 kilobytes. That's 100 or more times smaller, right? So compression software is used to make it smaller. Now backup software. I do believe I have OneDrive. No, I don't have OneDrive. Okay, but backup software is simply used to backup system files and folders. So imagine if this were, I don't know, um, some very, very important documents that I needed to have at a moment's notice and they were so severe that the world's nuclear power wouldn't work without them, right? Something crazy like that. These would be backed up to my OneDrive or my Google Drive so that whenever I need them, I can go and I can fetch them again. If my PC burns up, I can go and fetch them on a new PC. I can access them from my phone, whatever, right? So utility software, I kind of got a bit um, off track there. Utility software is used to maintain the system. And that, that means maintain the performance, maintain the files, maintain the folders, maintain security, whatever maintenance means for that system, that is the purpose of utility software. Now, what I will do, I'll put this link here in the description so you guys can actually go through and read exactly what each thing is. I've only given a very brief overview of what they are and how they can be used, okay? Here we have application software. So quite simply, application software is used to carry out tasks on a computer, not very detailed there, such as writing email, making a poster, doing homework, messaging friends, etc. right? So application software, 
is normally created for that specific purpose. Now, it does get a bit blurred when you think about software, but think about application software as simply an app you use day to day. For example, here it highlights a word processor. So we look at Microsoft Word, um, Google Docs, so on and so forth. We have web browsers. We look at Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, whatever else there is. So those specific apps. Now, in the exam, you will be expected to know the types of software and give an example of maybe one or two within those types. So for example, utility software, we could mention disk defragment or disk cleanup, uh, maybe antivirus, backup utility, whatever. Uh, for application software, you could mention word processor, obviously word processor, web browser, graphic software, for example, Photoshop, uh, your music app on your phone. Those are application software. They're created for that specific purpose for someone to do something with, whereas utility software is used mainly for helping maintain the running of the operating system.